Welcome to Bazande Pictures. Um, I'm Nae Rose Gishaik Binzaramba, student at Uganda Matters University, and I'm going to be your host for tonight. And today we are having one of the most anticipated programs, which you will discover as time goes on. And which program is a program that promotes peace, unity, and love among South Sudanese. And it's said, I would not say much because those are here says that it is organized by our own. That is none other than His Excellency Dr. Kenneth Gani Koboime, who also doubles as the chairperson of SPLM in the Western Equatorial State. So we are much privileged and honored to be with you, Doctor. And it's said that the program that is ongoing, that is the sports tournament that is ongoing, has been organized by you. And yeah, we would like to know, the viewers out there asking themselves, why has he organized it? What's the aim? What's the purpose? So want to know why you have organized it. Is there any hidden motive behind it? Or it's purely for fun? Because others would think that you want the students in Uganda to have fun, the South Sudanese in Uganda to have fun. So, Doctor, I want you to elaborate it and illustrate it better to our viewers out there why this tournament and why you see that it is really essential for us to have it. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to take this opportunity to thank the Bazandi Pictures for hosting me today in this uh, football field. Number two, I want to, to wish all the people of South Sudan, the South Sudanese in Uganda, uh, in a very special way in Kampala. I wish them Merry Christmas and a prosperous uh, New Year. Um, the reason of this football match, it is a uh, symbol of the unity of the people of, of, of South Sudan. Uh, it's also a fun for us to come here and, so, and to socialize and to, to be as a one community, one team, one people uh, to show to the public and South Sudanese and the general uh, that we are united. Because um, according to the statement of our president, Salfakir Mayardit, in the Christmas day, we talk about unity, talk about reconciliation, talk about election, so that people can go back to the Republic of South Sudan. And um, this is the key message I want to, to share with you in this uh, important and historical day. Doctor, we want to kindly know how do we generalize the 2024 election? Should we expect it to be a peaceful one? The upcoming general election 2024 it is a part of the implementation of the peace agreement. Speaking to Naye Rose of Bazande Pictures, His Excellency Dr. Kennedy Ganiko Boyme, the chairman of the SPLM party in Western Equatoria, said that the upcoming elections in South Sudan is a roadmap to permanent peace and the implementation of the peace agreement. He also said that it's the constitutional right of the people of South Sudan to vote the leaders of their choice, though he emphasized on the need for the people to vote the SPLM party, which has clear agendas towards the people of South Sudan. Yeah, we are still here at the football match, and as you have heard from His Excellency Dr. Kenneth Ganiko, he has said that it is your constitutional right to exercise the voting. So let's not forget we are still at the pitch and so far the game is 1-0. So at we are for the first half. As I told you that we are going to meet various personalities that have attended and graced this event. And at this juncture we are here with one of the most influential entrepreneurs in Yambio. So he is a veteran businessman and he is someone that all of you know, even if with or without his introductions, you would have already guessed him off set. So at this juncture, allow me to take this privilege to give him to introduce himself to us and also to tell us what is that unique thing that has motivated him to come and grace this event that has been organized by his Excellency Dr. Kenneth Garnico. You're most welcome. Uh, thank you, Bazande Picture. My name is Emmanuel Kangogidi, uh, a son of the soil from uh, Yambio. 
Western Equatorial State. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here with you. Actually, I got this information uh, yesterday that there's a football being organized by our deputy governor, uh, Dr. Kennedy Ganiko. Then I decided also, as one of the businessmen from Yambio, I decided that I should also visit. Speaking to Bazande Pictures, veteran businessman and the celebrated entrepreneur Emmanuel Kango expressed his happiness for the initiative of Football for Peace organized by His Excellency the Deputy Governor. He said that he came as a representation of the business community in Western Equatoria to emphasize on the need to instill the knowledge of business into young people. Prominent businessman Emmanuel Kango, who donated US dollars 100 to the AFC, encouraged all students to study while taking business serious as this acts as a tool of shortcut to financial freedom. This moment, as I told you, that we are going to meet different important personalities that are around and we are going to speak to them. And you are going to know their reasons and what motivated them to really grace this event. And among us, which is the manager of Global Boy, and he is going to introduce himself to you and tell you basically what motivated him to be among those that really have graced this event that has been organized by His Excellency Dr. Kenneth Garnico. You're most welcome. Wow, thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Panza Peter, uh, aka the Global Manager of uh, uh, DJ and Ms., uh, Mr. Norrest, the one of the renewal uh, artists in South Sudan. Let me say now, 001, number one. Uh, <clears throat> I'm really very happy to, to be here today. Uh, it's, my, it's, it's my first time to attend such kind of a tournament. And uh, I really appreciate our uh, deputy governor for this initiative because it is true that uh, youth, uh, youth gathered, uh, one of the pillar or one of the fundamental of bringing youth together is football. And uh, as, uh, as uh, I'm witnessing the, 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 the gathering of many people uh, who are attending these occasions, it's really very important for the unity of uh, Azande people in the Republic of South Sudan. And it's also it's good for our union as youth with the elders coming together as uh, we celebrate this uh, Christmas festival. We are here with Jackson Gomo, who is a very strong supporter of the SPLM party. And he is here, and then he came for the Christmas festival to celebrate the festival in Uganda with his family. But the unique thing about this is that he did not only stop at being with his family, he extended hand to sponsoring the wear, the attire that the footballers are putting on today. So if you find them that they're looking cute, it's all due to his initiative. At this moment, let me take this privilege, give him to introduce himself to you and tell us what is this unique thing that this event is not only sponsored by the chairperson of the SPLM in Western Equatorial State, that is none other than His Excellency Dr. Kenneth Garnico, but also we are seeing that the strong members or the strong lovers of the SPLM parties are around. So you're most welcome. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Jackson uh, Gomu. I am going to give family for this uh, Christmas season. But uh, I also get a call from Budwe. I am going to give a call from Budwe. So I decided to come in to give my support and also to give my presence because I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure that my presence was very important than just giving my support uh, and, and not turning up for the game. For the game. So it's a very good initiative uh, done by the, the chairman of SPLM uh, uh, party in Western Equatorial State, Dr. Ganiko Kennedy Baimi. Uh, you know, sport is something very special and unique to unite youth. Uh, with that sport, uh, it's very hard for us to unite our youth. You know, we are, we are approaching Christmas, uh, sorry, we are approaching uh, uh, the, uh, the election next year. So this is the right time for us, and this is the right time for the party to bring all uh, the party's members together, to unite them, and to educate them the importance of the, of the elections, and then the importance of also being home, because all of us need to go back home. We have been here in, in Uganda. Uh, we really need to go back and, and enjoy the peaceful uh, environment of South Sudan. We are here with our youngest female honorables who has also graced this event and at this juncture I would like her to introduce herself to you out there. I would ask yourself who is this young lady and whatever. 
Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Pauline Jaco from Western Equatoria State. I'm a member of parliament and I'm so happy to be here today because I was once part of uh, Budwe Football Club. I was once a leader, uh, the third leader who came in, the only female leader of Budwe FC. And I'm so happy that uh, they continue to develop this talent and I wouldn't dare miss it. What is that thing that you have done and you have thought that really this has helped my community? And what do you think is that hindrance? Because as a lady we see you as the top and you are representing the ladies well. So I want to know what do you think is that thing that is causing the ladies to lag behind? Thank you so much. Uh, it's only a few things. Uh, definitely, I don't do all these things on my own. I lobby with different organizations, different ministries, with my friends. Um, basically, I started uh, looking, lobbying for services for Asanza community, uh, especially to do with a uh, water source. There has only been one water source, which was a borehole that existed for over 22 years. And this, this borehole could get spoiled all the time. But with lobbying with the Ministry of Land and Utilities, we were able to get the second borehole, which is supplying the whole community now. And um, 2022, Asanza Bridge was really spoiled. I mobilized the community members, and we were able to repair it. And this year, uh, there was good news. The road was repaired from uh, Chimbiro up to Nebiapai in Gangura. And all the bridges along that road were pre uh, repaired. So it's a great achievement that uh, the communities have benefited from, basically because of lobbying. And these services are brought to the community. And also, with a high rate of illiteracy in the area, I was able to, fo to open a literacy school where men and women joined to study. Most of them are school dropouts. And, you know, some years back there were cases of rebels. So some of them lost interest in school. And currently, they are able to read and write. And they have also decided that next year, they will be sending their young children to school. And I'm involving them, like over 50 women and men, I'm involving them in farming to make sure that as they do irrigation farming, we get uh, produce, we shall sell some. Um, those who will be angry, they can get something to eat, use the profit to pay school fees, and also support the literacy, the literacy classes. That's what we are doing currently in Western Equatoria. It's not only Asaza that is benefiting, different areas in Yambio town county that I represent. Honorable Jaco Polin is the youngest female member of parliament in Western Equatorial State. She's an influential politician who have through the civil society organizations, friends and the government of South Sudan, established an adult school in Yambio to counter high levels of illiteracy in her constituency. She has also ventured into women economic empowerment, engaging them in commercial agriculture. She has also through the hardships engaged partners to construct major roads in Asanza area in Yambio. <laughs> Gani Honorable, ko State Parliament yon, Pauline, negeri Bayraporo, JJ, kura boroki no ni yake ni moko, chingwa ngwa gama atamenu ni nonga muki ni ndeboyo. President ni gaga budwe football, football yine. Club na gani dipicha inga ga azande community in in Uganda our businessman gani pasta gani anjikura dunu kono boroni mina fusele furoni chile moyes kusa gani gmia ba matanya kafara furani tipe pikiyo tamena ni virani vurani inga 
Amy Alison Yole. Ni meno kupanga mini ane, ane kandu ku, ku mshashifayo, chupaka parafumboli duyo, bodi gbali cheke kandu ku jubayo kausa ku, ku yembie ya. Um, Tamba ya den, fuwaza ni community ngaga Uganda. Anda galedo shipu ngaga BB Spoon. Chupa mwa mwonyo nusunye yenye ki, ka koordinati he, da kuchugule woro da kuchini ya wale nga ogwa pala ni, ni, ni ya na ambusa ambusa onuma asada ka komunikiti and then tiki maaduni mwenye mwenye balewe anapepa chipupa kura ya kutu nipenga chipa paska chudu ubi ya alio misa niku kura boronga ani mwenye uweli ani mwenye chudu ane mikina kani mwenye uweli ane watadu ubi ya alio watadu arua so, I have an assignment for the executive. I will be able to do it. 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 So, what do you do? Sometimes you have a network. Gani na tuwa kino, boki rekemi yani kemi yumbu na yamba. Wana fara na wale kurabu kimi mi mi bigeni mi school, miki na fara mi ba sungo wagare. Ogo padun no nga wale na wale. Mi na fara na kumbere jema nunu speaker. Dini kile kwenye pachi papa budi rekaka baadhi saka m. Miki pefunga papa wagare. Kina ya parangale ina da motoro. Yeni ni ukafu motoro furu ni nga bora FC. Motoro sa furoni. Mite biha awo mikine na aboro azande isudeni nanga association. Motoro furoni asa. Motoro furoni asa. Kie kusinguziro ni yonga azande nga divide dia. Kaburu yonga na siyasa furoni nga agiole nga aboro meridi, agiole nga aboro iba, agiole nga aboro yembio, agiole nga aboro tomboro ya. Ukuru de ona angiro, ona angiro neli mo county, ona ni ona ona angiro neli mo tumbro, neli mo izo, neli mo yembio, ona angiro wada, azande, zande nga kina gine, kina zande. Speaking to young people at Chirombe playing ground in Kampala, His Excellency Dr. Kennedy Ganiko Boyme, the chairman of the SPLM party in Western Equatoria, donated the shillings 1 million to support the campaigns of Natalia Namaku, who is running for the position of the chairperson of South Sudan Student Union in Uganda. He also donated a motorcycle to Azande Student Union in Uganda, and he passed a message of Right Honorable Jema Nukumba, who said she is also donating a motorbike to Budwe FC. He later emphasized that young people should not accept politicians who promote the ideas of division and tribalism.